So now we're just going to talk about um, patients who have lost a filling. So we know that a few of our patients have rang up and they're not able to get in to see us because we're not able to provide the dentistry that we usually would like. For those patients who have been on the internet or have been trying to get hold of temporary filling materials like toothy pegs, we've actually made up some kits of professional material that we use at the practice here for you to use. So please give us a ring if you have lost a filling and you need something to pop in there just to keep the tooth protected. So when you're placing one of these fillings, we need to have a nice dry environment. So get yourself set up in front of a big mirror, get someone to help you if you can, who've got a really good light, a flashlight or ideally a, a smartphone light, which is a nice bright light for you to be able to see what you're doing. Use these cotton wool pads to really bulk out your cheeks so that everywhere's nice and dry and that you can get good access to the tooth. These little instruments here, they're just little brushes that we use, but you can actually use the back of these brushes as a little instrument to help you pad in the filling. So roll up a little bit of the material with your finger, place it on the nice dry tooth with lots of light, and then use the back of this brush just to pad it in place and make sure it's secure. The really important thing as well is before this sets, you need to make sure that you can still bite your teeth together. So once you've rolled this into the tooth, get yourself some little bit of Vaseline on your finger, and rub it all over the tooth and the filling so that it's nice and sealed and then have a few bites together just to make sure that your teeth come together naturally.